Hey everyone, Justine here, the Twilight Stamper, back with the Three Cards, One Stamp series for February 2015. This week we're going to be using the Paper Hug Stamp Set from Simon Says Stamp to create three really different cards using one stamp set only. Here's the stamp set and you can get a closer look at it. We're going to be starting off by using the Will You Be My Valentine stamp and we're going to be putting it on our Fisker stamp press and I'm going to be using Black Archival ink. And the reason why I'm using this is because I'm stamping on canvas paper, actually. And I find with canvas paper, um, using a pigment ink or an archival ink is best because it gets a little bit better into the creases. And you'll see that it doesn't stamp an impression that is really, really clear because it is a material. And I think that's one of the charm about stamping on canvas. So I'm going to push down really hard onto the canvas paper and lift it up. So I'm going to start my card and building my card by taking this pattern piece of paper from Paper Crate uh, Kiss Kiss Collection and I'm going to cut this down to four and five and a quarter inches to make my background. I am going to mount this afterwards on a white card base so I need it to be about a quarter of an inch smaller than my card base is going to be. The next thing I decided to do was take a piece of vellum and I would recommend doing this one and a quarter inch by at least six inches. I had done it at five and a half inches and when I went to glue it down I had some slight difficulties. It wasn't that big of a deal but I'm assuming that everybody's not going to be using the same type of vellum and therefore it's a good idea to keep at least an inch of extra space on there for gluing. So you want to keep a half an inch on the bottom and a half an inch on the top um, kind of extra and and then do your stamping in between those. The reason why is then you can have sort of a tab on each side and fold those under the um, cardstock so that you don't see any glue marks because vellum's kind of hard to work with because you can always see the glue. So I arranged my stamps here and put them on my Fisker stamp set uh, press. I really love using the stamp press for this reason because I can lay out my stamps exactly how I want them and then stamp multiple stamped images onto my card exactly the way I wanted them. I'm gonna ink them up using Versamark ink and stamp them onto the vellum. Again, if you want your vellum to be a little bit longer, you're gonna to have to stamp a half an inch above where you actually want to stamp, if that makes sense. I'm gonna push down, and you don't want to move this stamp at all because it, it is like a sort of a plasticky paper, and so it will slide easily. And you'll see that the words that are actually on the stamp didn't come out so clearly when I put the embossing powder on them, probably because I wiggled the stamp a little bit too much. But overall, I was satisfied with the way that they looked, and I decided not to do it over again. Just wanna tap the excess powder off on the bottom. I'm using white ultra fine powder from Ranger, and I'm just going to heat emboss that. So when it's all finished heat embossing, I am going to take some glue, and again, this is why I said the half an inch is a good idea, because I had to put my glue down on just this really, really small area. I also added glue underneath the hearts to add a little bit of extra adhesive, because you won't be able to see that. You want to make sure you put as little glue as possible, because you don't want it to squeeze out. Now I put this patterned paper on here and you have to really be careful of which way your wording goes. I have a habit of not really paying attention and I ended up having to do surgery afterwards because obviously my valentine there was upside down and um, so I had to take an exacto knife and go back in and lift that up again and it was just kind of a pain in the butt. So just forewarning, make sure you look at the way your wording is. So now you can kind of see what I meant before. I have about a quarter of an inch not even hanging off the edge and I'm going to fold those under. So that's why I recommend making your vellum a little bit longer or even um, so that you can attach the two pieces of vellum behind the cardstock. You can even make it that long. And so that's the way that I decided to do add a little bit more of this stamp into the card and I think it looks really really cool. Again I did have to go in and do some surgery because um, of the valentine being upside down. But what I really thought was cool was this canvas paper and the fact that after I had stuck it down and pushed it down quite hard I was able to lift it back up so I thought that was really nice because I thought it was just going to be a permanent mess on my card so now you can see that I actually off camera switched my paper around there the pattern paper so Valentine is actually under the canvas which wasn't a big deal because my paper did rip while doing surgery so I wanted to just do a card bite card base and that is five and a half by four and a quarter inches um, as you can, sorry about the purple flashing there, my camera's starting to go on my phone and I think I need a new one. So I'm just going to glue my background onto the white cardstock and it fits perfectly with a nice eighth of an inch around the, the cardstock and the paper background that we made and it makes the white really stand out on the vellum I find. 
and I decided that it looked a little bit too plain so I wanted to add a couple of embellishments. So I grabbed my white pearls and a Copic marker. I'm using R22, I believe, or RV22. And I'm just coloring in the pearls. And this is one of my favorite things to do because now I know with sequins, with pearls, and everything, I only need to buy sort of a silver color or a white color and I can color them using my Copic markers and I don't need to buy multiple packages of sequins in all these different colors or in pearls. And so that's really cool. So I'm just going to attach my pearls using my X-Acto knife. I lift them up because these are adhesive backed and place them randomly on my card. So I decided to place three at the top and then I decided to place um, two at the bottom. And I think that that looked really really nice and I used all the same size pearl for that and there is my final card I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you continue watching to the end of the video for more links here you can click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and I also have links to two of my videos from the three cards one stamp series from January that you can check out and I hope you'll do that these are really really fun ways to get ideas for multiple ways of using your stamps have a great day thanks so much